Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone is doing fine in this new world of normalcy. Our video today is just going to be life from home on quarantine, four kids, a newborn, working from home, and also now homeschooling. family welcome back to my channel as you can see the sun is beginning to rise here behind me me and Owen get up really early I probably start working around five every morning before I wake up the kids for homeschool and Owen is back there rocking So by now I've been working for a good five hours. I am just wrapping up a couple of things and I'm going to begin to wake up the kids for homeschool. First, Owen goes down for his second nap of the morning. All four kids right now are homeschooled due to the pandemic and everyone being permanently home. We do not put her to sleep here, but every morning this is where she wakes up. This is TJ, our second boy. She is six years old. Then we have Haley, she is nine, fourth grade. And then we have our oldest child, Andre. He is 12, sixth grade. So as you can see, we have a variety of ages to homeschool today. But first, every day is not complete unless we start with breakfast. I love peaches and cream oatmeal and sausage. The kids have waffles, sausage, and chocolate milk. I headed back upstairs because I heard Owen begin to get a little restless. I'm trying to soothe him now back to sleep so that I can continue to help the other children get ready. We do have to sign on for homeschool at a certain time, so we're kind of pushing it. We gotta hurry. For all my moms out there, we know it's difficult dressing and getting multiple kids ready and out the door, but I think it's a little harder when everyone's home. There's no rush, there's no urgency, everyone goes a little slower, but Orange County Public School actually set a time limit. Well, are you up and moving? Everyone has to sign on at a certain time and do attendance. Everyone needs this to brush, morning, get ready we are for today. dragging our feet some clothes on trying to rush them along in a positive way to get dressed they all have to around. sign in with their teachers do attendance as well as morning roll call some of them even have assignments as early to turn really? in as 9 30. right now it's about 9 45. are you moving Haley? As you can see, Owen is pretty satisfied. This is his third feeding of the morning. Usually he sleeps really well after this feeding. So right now it is a little after 10 a.m. Both older children have to sign on to their OCPS computers. 
begin attendance as well as roll call. We try to separate the kids as far apart as we can, especially for the different learning curriculums. It just helps us stay a little focused. The next word we're going over is flower. Where is the flower on the picture? Good job. And then we're going over stem. Where's the stem on the on your picture? Good. Where are the roots? Good. Where are the leaves? And the petals of the flower? What are petals? Nope. Those are the kind of the branches if that was a tree. This is all the stem. Petals are the little leaf-like tops on the flower. Perfect. Now we're going to cut these sections out and we have to lay them near the item on our picture. And then we will send it to your teacher. Do you lay the little words or the, all, or gonna, the whole thing? We're going to cut out the whole strip okay. and lay it next to it. Okay, oh, I thought we were just going to clear the little words. No, that's too much. So the question says... The question says, what were some of the products and, and materials traded in East Africa? Select all that applies. This is going to say olive oil, ivory, Air Jordans, gold and silver. Air Jordans? <laughs> Trade in East Africa. Wow. Hopefully that's not your this answer. This is Haley. She for sure is our best independent learner. She does very good alone. She does email her teacher and does a lot of Skype and conference calls. She has been a straight A on all students since kindergarten. So right now it is about 11 o'clock. Everyone is still diligently working, wrapping up their first assignment of the day, including the younger two, as well as the older two. Erin has enjoyed reading this new book. I can read it without stopping at all. Yeah, I like that girl. What is it? It's a top talented 2020 virtual sh show coming soon. Are you gonna do it? No. Why? No, I want to. Is it a talent show or is it like, what, what is it? I don't know, I just watched the trailer. Are you gonna do it? No, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Owen does not enjoy a soiled diaper, whether that is pee or poop, he has to get it off of him as soon as possible. So that's what I'm doing here. Hi. Once the How diaper are you is today? off, he is the sweetest You say good morning? Thing. You say good morning? You say good morning? Say hi. Oh. So tired, right? So tired, right? So tired. Right now, Owen's only nutrition is me. <laughs> we are exclusively breastfeeding and the process is going well. For some reason, he likes this extra odd bounce from the sofa cushion, so we set his swing a little closer to that. Every morning around 11.30, Erin has a VPK conference call with her class. Three. She really enjoys the opportunity to see her friends face to face. She's only five and she hasn't seen her friends now in over five weeks. Things have gotten pretty desperate around the house. It is time for a home haircut no for idea TJ. What's this should be interesting. You see what, Aaron? It's an at home apron. I don't know what it's called. What do guys call them? So while TJ is getting a quick at-home haircut, Erin has finished her virtual conference. Haley usually ends her morning session with a book and usually allows her little sister to listen along with her. TJ is finishing up his conference call with his class. I straightened up the living room a little bit. Baby boy is swinging. I had to straighten up a little items in the girls' room and it is finally time for lunch. By now it is about 12.30, one o'clock. And if you didn't watch the first video, all of these lunches are provided by OCPS. 
What type of childhood does not scream square pizza? I remember these lunches vividly in school. They also give you chicken nuggets. All of these items do have to be cooked in the oven, but it is very nice to get food provided for children that they would have gotten at school. It also helps out with, you know, the economy and the jobs being slower. Five kids are a lot to feed. They are hungry, they snack constantly, and this definitely helps out. So I place the square pizza and the chicken nuggets in the oven and allow them to cook. It is about 1.30 now and we are completely done homeschooling for the day. We usually homeschool from 8 a.m. to 1.30 allow the kids to swim and still have a lot of free time and go outdoors. Have you guys ever caught your child checking themselves out? I don't think she can see me, but she can definitely see herself. And she is checking herself out. Oh, I think she can see me. Gotta go. <laughs> go. The kids are at home having lunch with their dad. The weather did change and get a little rainy, but that's typical for Florida. I did want to just take a second to show you guys the process that I have to take to turn in my children's homeschool work. For Orange County Public School in Orlando, Florida, 50% of the learning is online and the other 50% is paper or via packet. And you do have to bring the packets back to the school. So right now I am looking through the blue bins for my child's grade. So this is fourth grade for Haley. So I will leave her packet in this bin and her teacher comes by and picks it up. Now that I am home, I am going to throw on two quick crock pot meals for dinner. The first one in this white crock pot is gonna be like a bean casserole with chicken and cheese. The second one in this black crock pot is gonna be more like a gumbo. Still has beans and pesto, a variety of beans and noodles as well as some sausage and some broccoli. All right guys, good morning. I completely forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.